And the outside, I was nothing. And here, I got chiseled into a fine machine. That right there is a convict mentality. It's a pity you don't see your own potential. It's a pity you don't see beyond these walls. That was probably the most iconic line from episode eight of For Life. No matter where you're physically trapped, you can always think outside the box. This has been such a good series. No matter what you think of 50 Cent in his rap career, his second career in producing TV shows and movies has been outstanding. And Stars has green light 50 Cent to produce a black mafia show and I'm all about all the shows 50 has done. So far, he's done good, and this one has been good. And we're going to review For Life, Season 1, Episode 8, entitled Daylight. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Hit me on Instagram when you have other shows that are noteworthy that we should be watching or news stories because we do it all on this channel. And also download the podcast as a backup for YouTube. Play together. We all got to get along, right? Dangerous Aaron. The man has rights, that's all there is to it. You want the best, and it came at a price. So what's it gonna cost me? We don't want to get mixed up with him. He sent men to my house. They put a gun in my head. It's a pity you don't see your own potential. It's a pity you don't see beyond these walls. This episode starts out with Aaron talking to his daughter, and in the last episode we saw where Aaron signed the divorce paperwork for Marie. And he's calling his daughter, letting her know that, hey, I signed the divorce paperwork. And the daughter, who is as smart as a mouse in the cheese house, realizes that the only reason this was put in place is because of Aaron's, I mean, because of Marie's father, which is her granddad. And she's crying, and she knows in her heart that the father and the mother still have love for each other. So she's conflicted. And eventually you knew she was gonna go talk to the mom about it. And she looks the mom straight in her face and says, do you not love Aaron? And the mom never gave an answer to that question. She never answered it because we all know she still got love for Aaron, but her dad and everybody's all in her ear trying to tell her to move along. And ladies and gentlemen, can we talk about Dr. Cop Block, the doctor at her hospital that's saying you need to move on with Darius? trying to tell Marie to leave Aaron alone because he's never gonna get this case done. I mean, my God, what a cop blocking doctor she is. She need to take that stethoscope off and go somewhere else. We learned a little more about Henry Roswell. That is the attorney working with Aaron and they have staged a bigger coup to help Aaron take down Mackins, who is the district attorney that threw him in jail because they know Mackins is a racist piece of crap and they are trying to stage bringing another prisoner from another um, jailhouse into this one so that Aaron can represent that prisoner because he was taken down the same way Aaron was with a little bit more racism involved. We learned that Henry could have taken on Mackinson back in the day, but he didn't because he was too intimidated and also he was a drunkard. And we, throughout this episode, you see him trying to make these channels happen, trying to get things backlogged so that this prisoner can get over there with Aaron. And this can be the big coup de grace for Aaron to finally take down Mackins, take down this criminal enterprise he's been doing, masquerading as a district attorney. The meat and taters of this story was the ongoing battle with Aaron becoming Cassius lawyer who's played by 50 Cent. The warden is not real big on Aaron representing him because y'all saw the last episode when 50 first got to the prison, you know, he was making snide remarks to the warden talking about she's hot, laughing at her, what may have you. And in this episode, we see 50 institute more his power. The top gang in this prison that ran everything was the Aryan Nation. 50 goes into a shower by himself when you have four Aryan Nation dudes in there. 50 goes in there, beats the hell out of all of them, and the leader, little punk ass, he didn't want none of 50 cents. So after 50 take out three of the big dudes and slice up one of them, they pulled out a shiv, 
and 50 took it from them and sliced them with it. The leader's standing over there like a little bitch. Warden, guard, guard. And then it goes into a case where 50 is thrown into solitaire. And, and you know, Aaron, who wants his phone services back, who wants his burner back, decides to take pity on 50 and goes to 50 to represent him so that he can get privileged back with his phone. And you see 50 giving him a hard time like, bruh, if you're going to represent me, I need you to come with it all. And Aaron knows 50 went down there because he wanted that smoke. Not only did 50 want the smoke, 50 got down there, he seen the smoke, he inhaled the smoke, and then he blew it back out. So now they've got to come up with a way for 50 to get off this so he can get out of solitaire and Aaron can get the phone. The elaborate scheme here, he's got to... Aaron's got to get the warden to get on his side, which he was able to do, even though she didn't want to. And he's also got to figure out a way to get somebody to flip and be a witness to help 50. And throughout this episode, we also learned that the warden's wife, whose name is Anya, she has decided that she's going to help the, the warden and the prison population by going down to do a town hall style um, Q&A in the prison to try to win win over the prison population's family members. And she done that. It was successful. And one of the reasons she's doing this is because she's getting her tail whipped in the pole to Mackens. And she's also in support of the warden allowing that new inmate to move to this prison and let Aaron represent him because now you can turn the heat up on Mackens even more. And so the warden allowed all those things to happen. She allowed Aaron to do this trial representing Cassius, played by 50 Cent. And throughout this trial, for a little while, it looked like Aaron wasn't going to win it. And then they took a little bit of a recess for a couple of days. And during this recess, the warden learns a lot of things that she didn't know was going on in her house. And more importantly, we learn more secrets about Frank Foster, who is the senior corrections officer that 50 sent goons to his house to intimidate him and his family. He becomes the secret weapon that Aaron uses to make up a story about what happened to that shift. He basically gets back on the stand, testifies that he took the shift, he lost it in the toilet, and from there, they're able to let Cassius, played by 50 Cent, get off, get out of solitaire, go back to a normal prison unit, and now Aaron has use of the cell phone all over again. And I was like, man, this show is getting real good. Just when you think that it's taking a turn for the left, we go back right. And to put icing on top of this whole entire cake, Darius realizes that Marie is She's not going to budge. She loves Aaron. The daughter still loves Aaron. He had an engagement ring he was planning to give to Marie. He left her like a five-page little note, left the engagement ring, and he's walked off. And you know what? I hope he doesn't come back. I hope that's the end we see of Darius with his daggone Lionel Richie hairdo. I hope that's all we see of him. And in the very end, we see Aaron talking to the new inmate, who is part of this grand plan to take down the district attorney Mackins so that Aaron can get his freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a damn good show for regular TV. If you're not watching, I don't know what you're doing. I want you to leave me all your comments on what I missed, what you've liked about the show. And if you're looking forward to any of the new shows 50 is doing, he's creating his own little universe like the Marvel universe with all these great shows. I will be reviewing all of them because you all seem to really like this type of show. And so you guys stay tuned as I keep reviewing all these great shows. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, get yourself that life game. Follow me on the gram, download the podcast, and until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.